Hello everybody! So in today's video, I'm gonna explain how you can turn any function bipolar and what I mean by bipolar in this context is how you can make the amplitude adjustment bipolar. Here I have a graphing calculator open, so I'm gonna do some more explaining on what bipolar actually means. So there's a signal or a function that goes into the negatives. So here's a triangle function and you can see that sometimes it's positive but sometimes it goes into the negative side so then the opposite of bipolar is called unipolar and that means that it always stays above zero so to turn this unipolar i would only have to add some value that raises it above zero this is a bipolar sign it goes to both directions so if i have this sine function and at this part the sine function returns minus one if i multiply this by say 2 then this is gonna get scaled and return minus 2 so it's gonna go to the negative side as well as the positive side so let's do 2 sine x and you can see that it grows to both sides if you multiply minus 1 by 2 you'll get minus 2 but let's say now that the sine function was above zero all along. So I'm going to do plus one. So now we have the entire thing above zero. So now I'm just going to put this in parentheses to kind of pretend that this is what the function was all along. Like this thing is going to be calculated first. So what happens now if I do scaling, let's say two times this, you can see that it's only growing to the positive direction. So no matter how much I raise this, it's never going to go into the negative because there's nothing in the negative to be scaled. So let's get into the actual practical part of this video. So here I've made these formulas that basically work for any function given a couple of first assumptions. So if you have a function that scales the amplitude bipolarly by default, and you want to change that into unipolar amplitude, you'll have to put the bipolar function in parentheses and then just multiply by a parameter outside of that. And the condition for the bipolar function is that it needs to be scaled in a way that it has an amplitude of one and it fits into the formula controller view. So in other words, it starts from zero and ends to one. And if you want to change a function that scales unipolarly into scaling bipolarly, you need to put the unipolar function in parentheses, multiply that by a, and then you have to add 0 0.5 minus a times 0 0.5. And again, the condition for the unipolar function is the same. It needs to be scaled in a way that it fills the entire formula controller window. So from zero to one. So these are the formulas and I'm going to put some formula controller presets up for download in the description. So I've made versions of all basic waveforms and made them scale both bipolarly and unipolarly. So I've made a, made a triangle and a square and a sign and a saw. So you can download those, but now I'm going to do a little example using the square wave to better understand how these functions work. So in this case, like the way that I usually make a square wave, it's going to be unipolar by default. So when I change the amplitude, it's going to grow from the bottom. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding 0 0.5 and then subtracting a times 0 0.5. So let's look at this term by term. So I'm going to take this out, press compile. And now what you can see will happen is that we have just changed the starting point to be 0 0.5. So if I stop both of these functions, you can see that the original unipolar square is going to reset to zero. And this is going to reset to 0 0.5 because of this addition. But now when I change the amplitude, you can see that we're kind of halfway there now. Like we have the correct starting point, but the square is still growing from this new starting point only to the positive side. So we're still lacking the part where it should also grow to the negative side or the bottom side. We actually have to shift 
this down by a specific amount every time this is increased. And that amount happens to be A times 0.5. And we can try to understand this by setting this to some specific value and then just calculating ourselves what the function would return. So now the amplitude of this function is 0 0.5. So in the square waves case, it goes linearly with this value. So whatever value A has is the amplitude of the square. And the plus 0 0.5 again is to set the starting point to be at the center, just like we we looked when we took this term out and just had this part. And now what we are subtracting from this is a times 0.5. So what is half of a? It's 0.25. And now you can see that the, the amount that this square has been pushed down is 0.25 because it's one fourth of the entire range of the formula controller output, which is one. And this amount will always change to be correct when A is adjusted. So if I put A to be 0.75, you can see that now it's going down by what? What is 0.75 times 0.5? 0 0.375. 0 and if I would put this to one, the amount that this is going to be pushed down is 0 0.5 all right i think that's everything <laughs> for this video so yeah leave a like if you thought this video was interesting i'll see you in the next video